Bullet Echo is a game with lots of potential, but unfortunately, we may probably never see this game blow up and become a global title played by millions of players worldwide every day. In this video, I'll be going over 7 things I would do to make this game blow up if I was ever in charge of it. And without wasting any time, let's get straight into the video. First of all, if I was ever in charge of Bullet Echo, the first order of business would be to completely overhaul the entire matchmaking system and replace it with a new one. Currently, matchmaking in Bullet Echo is done based on trophies and it causes most players to face stronger enemies all the time which makes the experience painful for the average player. This would have to change immediately. I would pioneer the creation of an entirely new matchmaking system that would be based on skill, not hero power or trophies. In my next point, I will explain why I would not do matchmaking based on power. But moving on, this new matchmaking system would depend on various metrics like the average kills, the win percentage, number of battles played and so on. All this information comes together to make sure that every player is facing enemies that are really close to their skill level or experience. Now, considering that matchmaking is the main factor that is causing players to quit playing this game, a new matchmaking system would definitely bring back many of the old players who had already given up. But also, it will attract a new base of competitive players instead of players that rely on spending money for upgrades. Such players might have to switch to Candy Crush. By the way, towards the end of this video, I will also talk about an effective strategy that would increase the player base of this game quickly, so stick around for that. But the second important change I would make is to remove all hero upgrades as well as gear and drone upgrades. There should be no way that a player can gain an advantage over others simply by spending money. This is why in the previous point I said that matchmaking cannot be based on power because all the heroes would have the same power, so skill based matchmaking would make a lot more sense. But getting back to my second point, after removing all upgrades that give paying players an advantage, you might ask but how will Bullet Echo make money then? And I will answer your question right now. The solution to removing hero, drone and gear upgrades is to improve the quality of cosmetic items in this game. I will do this as follows. First of all, all hero skins need to be improved. The hero skins and colors should also affect the hero abilities. For example, Plague Graven can have red webs when he scans or Golden Mirage could have golden bullet trails instead of white ones. Secondly, I would also add knockout effects. If you have played other battle royale games, you might have seen these before. They are basically visual effects that appear each time you knock out an enemy. Now, since all heroes have the same power now, I would also make all heroes available for a cheap amount of coins. For example, 20,000 coins per hero. These coins can easily be obtained just by playing the game normally. I believe this would allow players to unlock the heroes that they want and when they want, instead of relying on random luck from battle chests and skull chests. The third change I would make to Bullet Echo, if I was in charge, would be to reduce the duration of the season. 3 months is too long for a season, I believe a season in this game should last 6 weeks or less. And speaking of seasons, every season comes with a new map, so I would actually leave all the season themed maps in the game even when the season ends. This would give players a wider variety of maps to play on as well as reduce the monotony and repetitiveness of this game which a lot of players keep complaining about. Remember the new cosmetic items we discussed in the previous point? I would fill the season pass with lots of them and on top of that, I would also reduce the price of the season pass to $5 or less. The current season pass is too expensive for most players. The fourth change I would make if I was in charge of this game is to bring back the old trophy system and allow players to collect as many trophies as they want. In my opinion, 
removing the old trophy system was a punch in the face for the veteran players of this game. Actually, the trophy count was the only reason that some of them were still playing this game. So when the old trophy system was adjusted, many of the veteran players ended up leaving the game. Perhaps what I would change is to reduce the number of trophies gained per match. But moving on to the fifth change that I would make, I think this game would benefit immensely from custom lobbies or private matches. This particular feature is what makes private tournaments possible. And I must add that without this feature, we will never have esports events for Bullet Echo. You might as well forget about it if the game doesn't get custom lobbies. But in addition, this feature also opens up content creators to endless possibilities in terms of content ideas. I'm sure the current creators for this game would agree with me. And the sixth important change I would make to this game would be to add an actual ranked system. I cannot believe this game has no ranked matches. Actually, even if they just added a new ranked mode right now where every player has max level heroes and gear, I think it would improve the game greatly, but of course, hero balance would also have to come into the equation. And finally, the seventh thing I would do if I was in charge of this game would be to take advantage of influencer marketing. And what I mean here is to simply find top YouTube content creators that are playing similar games. And upon agreeing on the appropriate financial compensation, these top voices in mobile gaming would then get an opportunity to play Bullet Echo or even stream it to their viewers. And this would help increase the number of active players, reducing the number of bots in the process. I believe these changes would not only attract new players, but they would also entice some old players to return to the game. What changes would you make to Bullet Echo if you are in charge? Let us know below in the comment section.